welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Shelley and I mainly do videos on DIYs and hauls and sort of lifestyle videos. Um, if you're a regular subscriber, thanks for your support and thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on um, how to make various candles. I'm going to show some in tea cups and different um, utensils and items and then I'm going to show you a few different ways how you can make candles so I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. For these three candle DIYs you will need paraffin wax, some containers, some candle wicks, you'll also need a saucepan, a metal jug to pour the wax in, a fork and some essential oils and colour. You will also need some wooden sticks, a scissors, some sellotape and a glue gun. So we're going to start off with using the paraffin wax. You can use regular um, candle wax um, and you just literally pour this into the container and put it in a saucepan of boiling water. This has been boiled by the kettle and poured in so it hasn't actually started boiling again and I'm just going to leave it on here for I think it was about 10 minutes in total. When the wax is fully melted it will be clear and we're going to leave this to cool down for 5 to 10 minutes and in the meantime we're going to glue gun the candle wick to the bottom of the container that we're going to pour our wax in. <music> Once the wax has cooled a bit you can add your um, colour and your essential oils. I just use essential oils, I did have um, colour in the picture but I decided that I wanted um, a clear, a, a white finish so I've just used some orange um, and tangerine essential oils and it does give it a very slight um, colour. So now we're going to use the, you can use toothpicks but I've used kebab sticks and I'm just going to break them in half and um, sellotape the ends leaving the middle free and I'm going to poke the candle wick in the middle and this helps to keep the wick in place and upright and in the centre of the candle. Um, to pour it slowly to avoid any air bubbles. Um, it, it pours in generally quite smoothly and um, just pour it um, a centimetre or so from the top. Once you've poured all your candles into the containers, I've left them to set for probably about two hours. They, they probably were harder a lot sooner but I've just left them because I was doing other things. we are going to use a baking tray and I've put a bit of foil in the middle just to protect it although it probably doesn't need it and then I'm going to use some grease proof paper and then I'm going to pour the candle wax just in the middle it doesn't need to go right to the edges because we're actually going to make feather candles so we would we want a deep middle section and a sort of shallow end sections to make the feather look we need to cut the metal sections off the wick because we don't need these and then we're going to place five or as many as you need into the wax. Leave one end out and make sure the rest is submerged. the wax should start to get hard but it needs to be slightly soft in the middle and then we're going to cut out the shape of a feather. Obviously I'm just going to do this freehand so um, they're all going to be slightly different shapes but you just do basically some very shallow semicircles to create your feather shape and then you can peel it off the paper very carefully and it, it comes off very easily and it's because it's still very pliable. <laughs> To make it look more of a feather shape I just did little um, indents um, and this is obviously easy to do whilst it's still a little bit soft. And to finish this off I stuck a cocktail stick in the bottom so then you can stick it into your cake or whatever but I think they look really nice and they're very simple to make. <laughs> For the last candle 
we are going to use the lid of a biscuit tin and we're going to cover it once again in greaseproof paper. It doesn't have to be totally um, covered as long as um, the bottom's covered because we're going to peel it out as soon as it gets a little bit hard. <laughs> Um, started to dry after about 20 minutes remove it from the lid and then we're going to cut the wax into squares they don't need to be the same sort of size but as long as they're relatively similar in size then that's fine and it's very easy to cut it's about a centimeter thick and it's still a little bit soft so it's got a bit of bend to it We're just going to pierce each one with the cocktail stick because the candle wick is going to poke through these. And once we've done these, we're literally just going to stack them onto a candle wick. Once you stack the candles to as high as you want, you can move them into position because they're still soft and then once they dry they actually mould onto each other and I think they look really effective. Thank you for watching my tutorial, I hope you've enjoyed some of the candles that I've shown and it's given you a few ideas on how to make some different sort of candles, um, personalise them for yourself and to give us gifts. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.